welcome to my channel i'm gonna show you guys my everyday makeup and hair routine for school if you haven't watched my skincare routine you should but before i started my makeup i just put on my niacinamide serum stuff and then this sunscreen which is tinted I have not filmed a makeup routine since I was like 15. Okay, so first I start off with my eyebrows. I use the, the Anastasia Powder Duo in the color Brunette. And I've literally had this palette thing since I was in eighth grade and it has not even made a dent. So if you want a long-term eyebrow thing, I guess I would recommend this. This is hard to do on camera, damn. I dip the brush in the powder and then I first lay it on where it could be darker. And then with the leftover, so it's not too harsh, I do the line underneath. So it looks like all my hair is like growing out of the exact same line. And then I just help out with the arch a little bit and we're good to go. Then I curl my eyelashes with this Revlon eyelash curler. The difference, it's like two different eyeballs. So if you have straight Asian eyelashes like me and you can curl them, but then you put on mascara and it just weighs them down right back to where you started, I highly recommend this mascara. It's, it's by L'Oreal. It's the Voluminous Million Lashes, but the waterproof formula. Mascaras that are waterproof, that is what will hold your curl. I do want to try their L'Oreal's Telescopic Mascara because I've heard a lot about it. Voila. Oh God, I'm already sweating in this shirt. That's not good. Okay, so next I use a bronzer slash contour situation. I have this Smashbox palette from years and years and years ago. It just looks like this. I just mix these on this angled Morphe brush. And then, because my nose gets really oily in Florida, it's inevitable. And I want it to look like I have like a tan on my nose. I will put the bronzer on my nose. So I use this MAC lip liner in Staunchy Stylish. It is the perfect color for my lips because it's my lip color, but just like 1% more pigmented. I do the outline and then I kind of fill in a little bit just cause this stuff doesn't budge and it'll stay on pretty much all day. They put a little bit in the bottom center like that. I am addicted to lip balm. I have been since I was like, eight years old or something. So I literally just got this a couple days ago from Sephora and I love it so much. It's the Fenty Beauty Pro Kisser Luscious Lip Balm in the color Pinch Me. It's a lip balm, number one, so it's hydrating, but it's super glossy and tinted. It feels like freaking butter. It is the softest thing to gel my eyebrows. I just took one of these spoolies from Sephora and I wet it and then I run it over some glycerin soap that I just got from Publix. It was like $2. And this works way better than brow gel. This soap brow situation, very cheap. I don't put on highlighter because I live in Florida and I'm sweating constantly. So highlighter is just not necessary. But if you live somewhere that you're not sweating constantly, then yeah, throw on a little bit of liquid highlighter. Obviously, if I'm just home all day doing online classes, I don't put on makeup. But the days that I want to spice it up a bit, this is what I'll do. So now I need to situate my hair. I was sent this flattening iron. I've never owned a flattening iron because I have straight hair, but I just wanted one to make my hair like extra shiny, extra just like snatched. Also, I wanted to use it to curl my hair. You know how people do that with a straightening iron. I just always wanted to do it, but I've never owned a straightening iron and now I do and I'm obsessed with it. I'm gonna be on campus all day. So that's why I'm kind of like dressing up or whatever and like being put together because I'm not just sitting home. Like I'm gonna be in public. Okay, I'm gonna put a little bit of this dry shampoo in my hair. I don't know if I would recommend it for brunettes because the powder is so white. Do you see how white that is? I mean, obviously I rub it in, but <laughs> oh my gosh. I don't know what you're supposed to do. In the picture, the girl's like doing this. So I guess I'll do that. 
just gonna quickly straighten my hair and not to straighten it because obviously it's already straight but to add some shine and pizzazz because i don't put much effort in my hair when my hair is good it literally makes my day better and i just feel so much more confident also i do want to start doing like some beautiful beach wave kind of things with a strainer and i've tried it a couple times and it works really well i'm just not good at it so i don't want to film me doing it and be like this is how you do it because i suck at it so this is the straightener whoa it doesn't look like that in real life i don't know why it's doing that look at that it's so nice oh wait heat protectant obviously i use this tresemme heat tamer one i've probably had it since mm, i was like 15. just turned 20 and i feel like i need to that is so scary i am not being paid to say this but honestly i've used this strainer so much since they sent it to me so thank you so much it just makes my hair so freaking shiny and it's one of those high-tech ones that like doesn't damage your hair as much so i'm someone that sleeps with my hair wet a lot of the times so i wake up and even though it's straight there'll be just like these random kinks and stuff in it that look horrible i legit cut my hair like three or four inches um a couple weeks ago and it's still this long. look i don't even know if you can see so freaking shiny and smooth i'm obsessed I genuinely am so stoked about this iron. I tell all my friends about it, but you can actually get 70% off if you use my coupon code, which is Isa. If you need a straining iron or curling iron that is not gonna damage your hair as much and is super sleek and beautiful and sexy, get it. The link will be in my description. This is my outfit of the day. I have my Adidas Young One sneakers, some biker shorts from Reebok. My friend just gave them to me. And then I just thrifted this men's button down, beautiful pastel. And then my favorite purse of all time, my Teddy Blake purse as my laptop and all my school stuff so thank you so much for watching please don't forget to like comment subscribe all that stuff and i'll see you in my next video peace